Well, there's there are countless examples of uh, this, but one of my favorites is the the foundation we set up called the Whole Planet Foundation. We work with Mohammed Yunus uh, and Grameen Trust on microcredit, and we now we have projects now in 18 countries, and we only set those up in places that we're trading with. So, been Whole Foods is trading all over the world and in all these different communities uh, that we might get bananas from uh, Costa Rica and coffee from Guatemala and uh, coffee from Kenya and th that sets up the relationship, the trading relationship and then so the Whole Planet Foundation can go into there and that that has been an amazing um, foundation because it's not only benefited now hundreds of thousands of uh, people in a short period of time in terms of the the recipients of these microcredit loans which the average loan is only a couple hundred dollars and that enables them to improve their lives 98 percent of those loans are made to women and we have a 98 percent repayment rate with no collateral and no contract it benefits the team members i don't think there's anything we've ever done in our history that uh, has gotten our team members more fired up. They are very proud of the company for doing this and we set up a volunteer program where some of our team members actually go down and connect up with some of the, uh, the projects uh, such as in Guatemala for a 30-day period and uh, Whole Foods pays for all their costs but they donate their time and that, I can tell you that's changed a lot of young young team members uh, uh, their consciousness, it's raised their consciousness significantly because they, they come face to face with really terrible poverty and yet they watch as seeing people lift themselves out of it. It's good for our customers because the, one of the largest sources of funding for that, for what we're doing now, is coming from our prosperity campaign. Once a year for a six week period, we actually set up competitions between the stores to see which of the stores can generate the most customer donations. And we're talking about people giving their change or a dollar here or two dollars there and yet we've we've we can raise over two million dollars now in a year uh, just doing that and that money gets transferred and then our suppliers are doing this as well we have a suppliers alliance so uh, they are connected into it vis-a-vis -vis, uh, they make they support it financially and then promote those companies as being partners and the and we promote those in our store so they're getting there's getting a greater brand recognition and the investors are winning because this is this has generated massive amounts of publicity it's created goodwill with our customers with our team members with our suppliers and that uh, benefits the investors so the idea for example that uh, this type of philanthropy is somehow or another comes at the expense of the shareholders that it's theft from the shareholders here you can see how through the synergies of all of these interdependent stakeholders customers are benefiting team members are benefiting suppliers are benefiting obviously the loan recipients the communities are benefiting as well as the investors it's a win-win-win strategy that's conscious capitalism